Today, we compare Bank of America and Bank of China, two major systemic banks in the US and China. This small table shows how volatile bank stock prices are. Bank of America's roots can be traced to 1904 when Amadeo Giannini founded Bank of Italy in San Francisco, originally established to serve working-class citizens in the area, particularly Italian-Americans. The bank grew rapidly and became Bank of America in 1930. The Bank of China's history began in 1905, when the Qing government established Daiching Hubo Bank in Beijing, which was in 1908 renamed to Daiching Bank. When the Republic of China was established in 1912, Chen Jintao was named head of financial reform in President Sun Yat-sen's government. Chen Jintao transformed the bank into the Bank of China, becoming its founder. The Bank of America Corporation is headquartered in Charlotte, North Carolina. The Bank of China is a Chinese national commercial bank headquartered in Beijing and the fourth largest bank in the world. Bank of America is one of the big four banking institutions in the United States. It serves approximately 10.73% of all American bank deposits. Its primary financial services revolve around commercial banking, wealth management, and investment banking. Bank of China offers commercial banking, investment banking, insurance, asset management, aircraft leasing, and other financial services in line with the complex demands of different customers. Bank of America's total number of employees in 2021 was 208,000, a 2.35% decline from 2020. By the end of 2021, the Bank of China had over 306,000 employees. The average estimated annual salary, including base and bonus at Bank of America, is $145,758, or $70 per hour. The average estimated annual salary, including base and bonus at Bank of China, is $131,866, or $63 per hour. As of May 2022, Bank of America has a market cap of $302.45 billion. This makes Bank of America the world's 26th most valuable company by market cap. As of May 2022, Bank of China has a market cap of $136 billion. This makes Bank of China the world's 84th most valuable company by market cap. Bank of America's revenue for the 12 months ending March 31, 2022 was $94.3 billion, a 3.67% increase year over year. The annual revenue of the Bank of China in 2021 amounted to over $90.5 billion. Bank of America's annual net income for 2021 was $30.5 billion, an 85.5% increase from 2020. Bank of China's net income for the 12 months ending September 30, 2021 was $22.6 billion, a 19.3% decline year over year. Bank of America pays 84 cents per share or 2.24%. Bank of China pays $0.028 per share or 5.88%. Bank of America's annual income taxes for 2021 were $1,998 million, an 81.4% increase from 2020. Bank of China's income taxes for the 12 months ending September 30, 2021 were $5,388 million, a 12.3% decline year over year. Bank of America shares were worth $37.54 when the video was recorded. At the same time, Bank of China shares were worth $0.48. Cents. 
The largest increase in the company's shares was from 1994 to 1998. The company grew from 11 to $43, or 290%. Bank of China shares grew very rapidly before the 2008 crisis, from $0.48 cents to $1.12, or by 133%. The average annual growth of Bank of America shares for the last 20 years was 0.6%. And the average annual growth of Bank of China for the last 16 years was minus 0.66%. Shares fell from 55 cents to 48 or 13%. The lowest share price in the history of the Bank of America was 82 cents. It was in 1974, after half a year since the IPO. Bank of China's lowest ever share price was 37 cents in 2014. During the 2008 crisis, the company's shares fell from $54 to 3.1, or 94%. The banking sector in China was also hit by the 2008 crisis, with Bank of China shares falling from $1.12 to $0.45. Cents. We see that there is no clear advantage of one company over another. Some indicators of the Bank of America are better, but the Bank of China pays five times more taxes. It's only for you to decide how good is the investment in these companies in the long term. If you liked the video, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe. By doing this, you will support the channel. Wish you all the best!